I call to order the meeting of the City of Davenport Historic Preservation Commission for Tuesday, January 9th, 2018. If you have a cell phone, please place it in the silent mode or turn it off. We welcome everyone who's watching us at home on the city's cable TV channel. The Commission has before it the consideration of the December 12, 2017 meeting minutes. Are there any changes, deletions, or additions? Hearing none, I would entertain a motion to approve the minutes. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor of approving the minutes of December 12, 2017, signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, the minutes are approved. We'll move on to communications. I'd like to let the uh, commission know that uh, there has been some talk of in this legislative session of tweaking the state historic preservation tax credits. Um, as we all know, those have been very beneficial to the redevelopment of downtown. It, we should all stay closely um, watchful of this. I've had discussions with both uh, Bruce Berger here at City Hall and then um, Kyle Carter with the Downtown Partnership and they're also watching the developments in Des Moines. Any staff communications tonight? Um, I went out today and visited uh, with the homeowner there at 613 West 6 to talk about uh, some, some possible ideas for window replacements. So I just kind of reiterated that the commission was looking for a window assessment of really what is the inventory of current sizes and, and sash sizes and profiles and things like that and what the proposed windows would be. Um, I think there's a little bit of a rush on his part. I think he's trying to finish some interior renovations to refinance to, to probably get some money back, but I kind of reiterated kind of we stumbled out of the gate and that I think caused a time delay. Um, the other I don't know if this is appropriate for communications, but we saw some uh, times to meet out at the Renwick Mansion. I don't know if you want to discuss it under other business. Um, we can do that. Okay. We have no old business tonight. We'll move on to new business, and that's case number COA 18-01. Install new sign and banners at 129 Main Street listed as the J.H.C. Peterson's Sun Store and is located and is a local historic landmark. Deb Powers is the petitioner. Would you like to address the commission on your proposal? I would. Uh, it is known as the Peterson Building, but it is commonly known for the last 14 years as River Music Experience. We have the Redstone Room upstairs and for this commission's sake, we attracted 321 ticket, or ticket buyers from 321 different unique zip codes in the um, year of 2016. But the largest single complaint we have is we don't know where you are. We have no, virtually no exterior signage. So our objective here in front of the committee tonight is to ask for the ability to install an exterior sign. The banners that are included in that already exist we're only looking to upgrade those and make them look much nicer do you have any questions no nope. thank you staff report yeah, we don't have any adopted design guidelines uh, for the peterson building um, so you're just looking at this as i look at this as a sign being something that's reversible it could be easily removed as long as there's no drilling or mounting into the, any of the masonry um, it was my understanding that uh, you could see the sign is located at the left side of the entrance that in the future there would be a um, somewhat of a complementary sign uh, on, on the right side to kind of balance because there's two projecting wall signs on each of those um, pillars or columns. I forget the, the appropriate term now, but uh, that would balance that out. Um, so uh, staff recommended approval subject to there being no drilling or mounting through the masonry. Okay. Are there any questions from the commission? Seeing none, 
I would entertain a motion to approve case number COA 18-01 as presented. Okay. Commissioner? Yes. Um, my question is to review this. Um, I assume if there's no specific local guidelines, we would be looking at the Secretary of the Interior Standards? Not necessarily on signs. We would be looking more at the downtown, not even that. No, so you would look at, I, I would say it would be akin to yes. Uh, you'd be looking at the Local Historic Preservation Ordinance, which is modeled after the Secretary of Interior guidelines. So when you have a local historic landmark, you're exempt from the downtown design guidelines okay. and restrictions. And so you are reviewing and approving this based on the historic preservation ordinance. But we also in the past have not dwelled so much on content of the sign as what you stated in your staff report of where it's mounted to the building. Yeah, in fact, Commissioner Cordes, we were briefly talking about this earlier. It's There's recent case law that the Supreme Court ruled that we can't r talk about the content of the sign. You're only looking at the design of the sign. So certainly you can talk about things like if it were, if there were um, fluorescent lights or, or neon lights or things like that, you can begin to look at those design details, but you can't really get into content. I guess my only question would be, is the sign about the same size, size as the Falbo sign that we approved last year out front? Yeah, the sign is we, would you come up to the podium? Oh, man. Um, yeah, I don't have exact measurements of the Falbo sign, but it's probably half again as large. It's similar in height, but it is broader. So um, you can see the Falbo sign is roughly the same size. You can see just to the left of the army uh, is the wood fire sign, and it's, it's actually a little bit larger than the Falbo sign. Yeah, it's hard to see in that photo. But it's right there. And, and, and you can see height-wise, pretty similar. In fact, we're actually the uh, proposed sign is actually a little shorter than the, than the wood fire grill sign. Does that help? So this doesn't really project over the sidewalk? No. It projects into the opening? Right. Okay. Is there a motion? I will also let you know that this a previous commission approved the banners that are on the side of the building on both the Second Street and Main Street side. Yes, I'm asking, is there a motion to approve COA 18-01 as presented? I would move to approve uh, based on it appears to be um, uh, consistent with the Secretary's guidelines and does not cause any damage to the building and does not create an obtrusive appearance. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion on the motion? Roll call. Cordes? Yes. Wanio? Yes. Carreau? Yes. Franken? Aye. And Free? Yes. Thank you and good luck. Thank you. We'll move on to other business, and that's a discussion of a work session. <clears throat> yes, I did reach out to the management there at the Renwick Mansion. Uh, they were very receptive to the commission meeting there. Um, they seemed to be pretty busy on Friday nights and um, most Saturdays. I think they had the 13th was open, um, but seemed to indicate that weekdays uh, were pretty open. Um, Commissioner Keels sounded like Wednesday worked pretty good for her. Um, Wednesday would be fine for me. I tend to be on Saturdays kind of booked up with kids sports and fun things like that. Um, but, you know, it's up to you guys. They, they said, like I said, it seemed pretty receptive. I think it'd be a very cool place to, to go and view. It's, it's a magnificent building, um, and to hold a work session there. And again, just to uh, recap, we would be meeting to discuss uh, upcoming goal setting for 
for the future year. They are comfortable since we're going to publicize this if some public showed up. Yeah, I would make sure that uh, that I would I would let them. I know they have the room for it. Yeah, I went to the open house. Yeah, I would also think instead of not just goal setting, but perhaps we could put put together some ideas and thoughts for uh, preservation month that seems to always sneak up on us in May, and if we could you know start. Yep. planting the seeds now like uh, you know for the preservation conference we did a window workshop and for a free thing we still have a little bit of money left over from the preservation conference because sponsorship was so strong that you know we could we could do something like that or if there's other ideas be happy i would love love to hear them so i don't know if you want i can reach out uh to the management and maybe look uh for a wednesday towards the end of the month just so we can uh, have plenty of time to set our schedules that would work. I would only comment that each Wednesday I have a appointment at three that lasts fifteen minutes. I would, I would offer that we would do it in the early evening if that's okay, okay. with everybody else. Very good. As it is the first meeting of the new year, it's time for nominations of chair and vice chair. Commissioner, if I, I I'm sorry, Mr. I should probably put that on the agenda, and so okay. let's. Let's go uh, ahead. Next you're, month. You're right, but I want to make sure we we have that on the agenda. Okay. So I'll I'll do that next month, and we can we'll probably have a, a fuller board then. And All we right. Can do. Is there any other business from commission members tonight? Seeing none. Is there anyone from the public that would like to address the commission? Seeing none. I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Is there a second? All those in favor of adjournment signify by saying aye. aye. Those opposed, the commission is adjourned.